There you go, Trophy Crunch Leave today with and we're back with Folk Basket episode four. Going well so far, going smoothly. It's been adorable, it's been funny. We've got some ships going on, comedy's been decent. It's a nice slice of life. And it's just the show what's sort of like <clears throat> fantastic reboot of the show so far. I'm loving everything about it. It's not really something not really a downside. Even the pace the pacing's been really, really good. Um like it's not felt slow at all. Characters are all decent. Um, probably to introduce a few more, maybe get to know friends a bit better. Toru is a decent main character. Love the art style. I like the music, but I do wish we had a. I don't know. I think it could do with a few back, a few more good songs, and then I'll be on board with it. But other than that, no. Um, I like how we got the. It's given a nice even amount to all the characters. Now I'm just waiting for like the shipping wars to happen. I've already got like my ship sort of. It doesn't. It's not. It's not fully made yet, where it can't be replaced by someone else. So hopefully they do that pretty well and just get to know a few more side characters. Not too much more unexpected from this show. So there's not too much more unexpected to get show together. I'm just, I'm just going to enjoy as it goes on and yeah, I'll just see what, just see where it takes us. But yeah, feel free to like and subscribe, guys, if you enjoyed the video. I do one a week and also do another season of anime. So feel free to check that out as well. But let's get into this. I just saw the dub was uploaded pretty quick. Is the dub this actually any good, guys? Just leave in the comments. Do you prefer a dub or a sub? I'm quite curious. We got a new character last episode, didn't we? Who's this? Teru looks disturbed in the back. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, she's uh, misleading. <laughs> Seems the show's full of uh, Sonades. That was a nice sweet job. Fuck it out. Didn't know how this had the Shonen tag. He seems to get his ass beat a lot, doesn't he? She's actually about to fly off. I think she's actually psycho. He didn't deserve that. He was just trying to enjoy his life. Oh. Yeah, she has a cannon fire ship. Sorry, but mate. Teru's took it. Yeah, that looked like he gave consent. Well, I feel like she's going to turn into a yonder and just like murder Toru. <laughs> fucking hell, she's fucking. Full on, isn't she? Bloody hell. Run, my man, run! No wonder you disappeared for four months. All become clears. That's the first time I've seen him. Uh... Ooh. That was cold. I just keep saying, why is he like so badass when they got defeated so easily? <laughs> like, it was so cool, but like, wait, didn't he just get his ass kicked? Just a bit. So much fan service for you females. God damn it. It's, it's weird, it's changed. That's not usually the case. Mate, you need to back off. Why? He didn't, didn't deserve that. It's going to be complete. Sh that was Crashy Cook. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Mate, that's just that sight. There's not even any milk in there. She's crazy. I don't like her. I can't blame him. I like how he didn't feel so guilty when she cried, whereas when Toru did. Oh, for fuck's sake. She's way too heavy handed with him, mate. There's no need. There's no need. Call me all that, but Code Code wouldn't. Kia don't deserve that. Oh, 
<laughs> Mate, two, just the fucking legend shit. Perfect walking distance. I'm gonna get flashback. Yes. Give us the cuteness. I wonder what changed their relationship. Probably when she was beating him. It's what turned him into what he is now. <laughs> Me. And a friendship was born. Got to, got to give, be patches up quick. Ah, anime food always looks better than ours by miles. Fried egg. Uh, there's no way tape would hold that tape up, I'm sorry. What's that flex tape? Oh, music fits the scene, I like it. I love how upbeat she is. <laughs> Say the peculiar situations she's in. The passion in his eyes. It's like when he was a kid. <laughs> What's with the excessive arm flapping? <laughs> Why the fuck is she about to blow up? You want to fight? <laughs> Moment. Yes. The ship strengthens, guys. Just on the fried out egg, I'm guessing. Aww. This is a wholesome episode, isn't it? No, oh, leave him alone. Don't hit him. Yes, the big block. He's going to get hit again, isn't he? Yeah, there we go. He tried. Not the TV. Unnecessary. Oh, saved. Yuri! <laughs> Fuck's sake. That was smooth. Oh, it's a pig. That's amazing, I want one. Oh, boy. I love the animal designs on this. Just wants me to have more as pets. Oh, I missed out on a perfectly good fan service moment for that's um, that's respectable. That is respectable of anime not to, not to lower itself to that. Yet anyway. Has the granddad passed away or something? Oh, is he actually? That's brutal. Oh, 
that was a good episode. I liked that episode. Um, I weren't a big fan of. See, the whole like hitting someone, con- you know, the whole Tsunade hitting someone. Like, I like Tsunades and I don't mind them. Like, my favorite one of my favorites is Tiger from Toradora. And I don't mind the hitting thing. No reason all the time, but she overdid it like a bit. I think she was hitting him for literally no reason at all. And I didn't really see the comedic effect of it. That's just me personally. Um, so I didn't like her that much. I like the board design, that was pretty cool. I like what they're trying to do with a character. I just don't like. It. I don't find that sort. I just find that stuff sort of unnecessary. But but then again, I do like Tiger. But I don't think she's she doesn't do it as bad. She's not that bad with it. Like she's fucking knocking and flying. But no, good episode. I like the interaction between Keo and Toru on the roof. I thought it was a really good scene. The one with the silver. I forget his name. I feel like he's taking the back burner for a bit. So I'm waiting for him to get like his big. His next big couple moments in the show. It feels like the last three he's been in the background has been a lot more Keo focused. Which I don't mind because I like him quite a lot. He's probably my favourite character. I don't know if Keo or Toru is my favourite. I really like Toru's attitude but Keo. No, Keo's my favourite. And then Toru probably. But I like that bit. And I did like the bit when she was walking back from the shop. So that was a pretty cool moment as well. But no, really, really. I enjoyed the episode. It was very um, wholesome and enjoyable and fun to watch. But yeah, no, it's been a good journey so far. I'm liking where it's going. Like I said, just need <coughs> just need to see where the plot's going to go now. I'm interested to see what that cliffhanger kind of left it on. See how it's going to affect the plot. And see what sort of characters are going to bring to the table. But overall, enjoyed the episode. And a bit more enjoyed the episode. And I like where it goes. And I just want to know a bit more about the, the guy who's in charge of the house as well. The dog guy. He's, I like it. I like him. He's a pretty cool dude. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Peace.